morning and I just got back. I did a whole day of shooting for a new series that I'm coming out with very soon on Instagram and TikTok. I'm so excited. Then I went to Ludlow House over in the Lower East Side and got work done for like two, three hours. And then I went and got my nails done. As you guys know, I'm like obsessed with the color brown right now. So I did like this dark brown with a chrome on top and I love how it came out. I go to Nails By Me in the Lower East Side. She's amazing. I have like an hour at home. So I'm just gonna pick up around here clean. I feel like I'm just always cleaning because cleaning makes me feel calm. I don't know if anyone else feels this way. And then I'm gonna go to Pilates and then do a sauna at Chill House with Ryan, which will be so fun. However, it's a little chilly outside and I wanna walk to Pilates um, cause I'm going to the West Village location. Cause I just need to get some steps in, but I wanna be warm on my walk. So we're gonna beanie up, we're gonna do all the things. And I have somewhere portable, rechargeable hand warmers. And I think I need to bring them back out. I used them a lot last winter and it is officially time. I need them again. Now, where are they is the question. Introducing my junk drawers. I have a tech junk drawer and then a random junk drawer. Well, I found one of them. They kind of look like computer mouses, but you hold them and they feel so good. But I need to charge it for sure. And I need to find the other one. Well, I found one of them, so one will do. It's charging up. As soon as I came in, my face was like cold and I just felt frozen. So I plugged in my little heat dish and I thought out. <laughs> I feel as though I am not super hydrated today. I've just been kind of on the go and drinking coffee, not water. So naturally I'm gonna make an element, especially if I know I'm getting in the sauna, I really like to hydrate extra with some electrolytes. Um, so I just am using the rest of the water in my water bottle from today. I'm gonna drink this while I get ready to go to Pilates and on my walk there if I don't finish it. I am also going to have some cottage cheese. Part of my afternoon ritual is having a thing of cottage cheese. This is my favorite, good culture. So many of you guys have said that I've influenced you to get good culture and you know what? I'm happy because that means you're experiencing greatness. I like the low fat one better purely because of the taste but the whole milk one will do because a lot of times the low fat one is out of stock. So I'm just wearing this black workout set and then my grippy socks because if I don't wear them, I'm slipping all over that reformer. I'm gonna throw on this sweatshirt from Aritzia. These have been my go-to everyday sneakers. And we're gonna walk fastly because I'm running a little late. I have that song from Saltburn stuck in my head, like one, two, three, four. I'm usually a morning workout person, but the evenings have been a little nice. Okay. The big old puffer is coming out tonight. And I'm gonna wear my City Gal beanie. Gals on the go merch, highly suggest. Very warm, very cute. It has a little martini. And a lot of people ask about this jacket. It's from the brand Sam, S-A-M. This is my third winter. It's our third winter together. And I love her so much. My favorite feature about this coat and something to look for when you're buying, especially puffers, it has this little belt. So it kind of cinches everything and doesn't, I don't know, it still gives you like a nice form-fitting situation. Got my hand warmer and I'm ready to go. Let's do some Pilates and some sauna. Westville for dinner. I haven't had this in so long and Ryan's never been. I literally want everything on this menu. I usually get this. No, no, no. That with like two sides, but they also have like hot dogs and they have chili. I want everything. Yeah. Guys, I don't know if you can tell, but it's snowing. Apparently we're supposed to get four inches of snow tonight and wake up and there's gonna be snow on the ground. 
I have my doubts because we've been told that a few times now. So, um, yeah. Don't mind me curling in. I literally, on my way back, bought a ton of cottage cheeses because I needed this one. Tonight was so fun. I'm currently watching the Emmys and switching between the Emmys and the Bucks game because the Bucks are like beating the Eagles right now, which I'm shook. Um, sorry to any Eagles fans. But this is pretty exciting at the same time. Um, but the Emmys are actually really good. I love award season. And then I'm responding to emails at the same time. still snowing. I think it's supposed to snow a good amount of the day. Headed to one of my favorite workouts, which is Sculpt Society. I'm doing a private with one of their instructors, Katie. It's so fun. You start usually with like dance cardio and you get into Sculpt and it is spicy. That's what they always say. They said, this is, this move's going to be pretty spicy. And I'm like, it is. Um, but it's always fun when they ask if I want to do a workout and I do. Now, where are my gloves? Aha. Oh wait, just one. I swear, it's like one hand warmer, one glove. Okay, here's two white gloves, we'll take it. Got my earmuffs, AKA my AirPods. They really work, just putting on a pair of headphones. Your ears are not cold, especially if you have a ponytail on because I can't wear a beanie, obviously. Anyways, let's do this. There's some film set here right now. Not sure what show it's for, but this is cool. The trailers and everything. She really said we're going spicy today. Oh my gosh. That was so hard, but so fun. I'm here with Michelle. And we're gonna do an oxygen peel. And I can't wait. I can't wait to be glowing. Yes. Okay guys, we have the first layer on and we're putting four. Here we go. Take it off from here. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Yes. Juicy, juicy skin. I love that. Guys, my skin is a baby's bottom and it's so juicy. My skin, I, I can't get over this. I love oxygen peels. Wow, I am obsessed with my new oxygen peel. So it's, I got more info. It's an oxygen peel. It's 5% lactic acid and there's no downtime. Like I'm not gonna be peeling for the next few days. I'm not flaking even. Your skin just looks glowy immediately. She did like a few different layers of it, but it's clear. Like she didn't have to wash it off. And then while all those layers were soaking in, she put on this like hydro jelly, mask on me and it was so cooling it felt so good the oxygen peel pssst, like was a little spicy when she'd first apply it and then it was fine and like guys i'm a baby so trust me um and you can do it safely once a month and i'm like i want to do this once a month but my skin looks amazing i mean i want to see how it looks tomorrow and everything like hopefully it doesn't just last for like five minutes but it was so easy i was in and out in an hour love that now i'm gonna make my smoothie we're gonna do it at home so as you guys know, 
It's a banana, some chocolate protein powder, almond milk, almond butter, and ice. I mean, she's stunning. Setting up shop here. I'm gonna be doing some admin work for the next couple hours, and then I have therapy, which I am always excited for. It's so nice to talk to someone that is just not involved in your life at all and just listen to you. <laughs> I just got my first Eat Clean Bro order and I was influenced by my friend Audrey Trollinger and they're basically chef prepared meals but there's like no added sodium and they're made with all fresh ingredients like grass fed beef stuff like that so I got a few this one looks absolutely incredible I forget what this one's the basics elite I think it's like chicken rice and green beans I mean what is more Danielle I don't know and then I got this lemon chicken orzo it looks so good I cannot wait to try these I'm literally about to eat one this actually looks unreal. It's the teriyaki chicken thigh. And then lastly, I got the Korean beef and rice bowl. This also looks so good. I'm just trying to up my protein. We're just, we're leveling up in 2024. And I think that Eat Clean Bro might be an amazing little moment here for me. I am now planning all of my outfits for my girls trip this weekend. I'm going to Mexico with Kellyanne, Cass, and Seb. We did a trip in January last year, so we're kind of making a thing. We're doing it again this year, but we're going to Mexico this time. I'm so excited. By the time this vlog is up, we'll be posting on Instagram, so go follow me at Danielle Carolyn. But yeah, I kind of already planned the outfits in my head, but I was just trying on everything again just to make sure I actually like the outfits so I'm not overpacking. Not, I mean, I am overpacking because I'm bringing, we're there for three nights, so we have three dinner outfits and then like chilling by the pool. Oh, I need to pack swimsuits. But I'm not like packing right now because it's only Tuesday, we leave Friday, but I just wanted to kind of feel everything out and I'm, I'm happy with where we're at. Putting my little portable clothing rack to good use. So now I'm planning out some other outfits just for the rest of the week. And it's so perfect because I can put like my accessories with it, sunglasses. It's just honestly perfect. And I'm really happy about it. And I just put the shoes underneath and boom, done. Like I literally just hung up my sunglasses there for that outfit, an all brown outfit, who's surprised there. But I'm so obsessed with this thing. Clara Purse texted me a picture and she had bought one too because of my link and I think she loves it. I think I like this little life. We are on different sides of TikTok. My day was great. How about you? Good morning. It's 18 degrees outside. I'm going to the gym. I'm so sleepy. And it looks so cold out there. Got this. Workout was great, and I just showered, my hair's all freshy fresh, did my makeup, and let me just say, it is so cold outside. Like, I am from Florida, and I'm not used to this cold, but also, I'm not one to get super cold. Like, I just dress for the layers, you know? I dress for the weather, I'm bundling up. I really don't complain about the cold much, I don't think. However, today, you just, like, no matter, I was literally gloves, headphones, aka my earmuffs, scarf, three layers, jacket, legging. Maybe I could have worn like two pairs of leggings or something. I was so cold. And <laughs> we're about to go to Soho and shoot three outfits. So, you know, that's just like, I'm a Virgo. I plan things. And today the, today was the only day that wasn't snowing or raining. And um, it's not sponsor or anything. I just really have some outfits that I want to shoot and I want to go to Soho and shoot them because it's so fun and I'm a basic bitch. But anyways, I'm going to be so cold. <laughs> but they're all like winter outfits. It's just like nothing can prepare you for the cold out there right now. But it's sunny. Um, but anyways, I'm packing my bag. So I have this bag here of all my jewelry that I'll switch off. And basically what I do is I'll like change like Dr. Smood on Green Street I like to go to because I'll buy like a ginger shot and then I'll use the bathroom and change. 
Um, and then what else? And then I'll switch it up. Like I have an Equinox membership, so I'll like go to the bathroom in Equinox. Like I try to not be annoying to a ton of different establishments. Uh, or I, I try to not be annoying to like one establishment, so I'll like, you know, spread the love. Um, but I have an Equinox membership and I could leave my stuff in a locker there actually. So maybe I'll do that. But anyways, so I have like my sunglasses, belts, earrings, also a tip. So my trainer Jane always wears her hair in this really cute half of half down with a claw clip. And I feel like every time I try, my hair just like doesn't stay up. Um, like this part of your hair, like it just kind of sags with the claw clip. And she was like, have you tried using a small claw clip? And I remembered that I had this in my bathroom. And it totally helps give that like little zhuzh, that little lift. And it stays in place. I don't know if it's because I don't have as much hair or what. I think it's because you're pulling less hair. So the claw clip doesn't, like if it's a bigger claw clip, it needs more hair to grab onto. But with the small claw clip, it's perfect. It's a life hack. And I'm so happy that I happen to have this. I think I only have this one. And it's perfect for one of my outfits. So I think I'm gonna like switch up my hair. So I have, of course, an all brown outfit. <laughs> um, so I'm just kind of putting this all together. And I have all the outfits that I planned out last night here. So I'm gonna wear one, obviously, and then put all the others in a bag. So I need to go grab a bag, figure out which outfit I'm gonna wear there. And then one of these outfits I'll wear to record the podcast because from there, I'm heading to the studio and recording an episode of Gals in the Go. I decided to put on the outfit that is the most difficult to put on at home. I feel like that makes sense. Like tights and this shirt kind of wraps. So this shirt is Kim Shui and skirt is Revolve. Brown tights are making a comeback. Brown Dolce Vita boots. Jacket is Naked Fashion. I will link as much as I can down below. As always, earrings are from Oma the Label. I feel like I notice a difference when I actually fill in my eyebrows. Like I feel like it looks better, but you guys let me know. Um, and I'm gonna add some brown sunglasses and the claw clip, I think, too. And I'm gonna wear another jacket as well. So I don't freeze. Let's do this. Okay, guys. I am not that cold, actually. I swear when the camera turns on, all of a sudden I'm not cold. We just shot outfit number two. Now we're gonna shoot outfit number three. This is awesome, right? Hello. <laughs> she has been bravely taking photos of me out here in the cold. <laughs> and, but we're finding good sunspots, so here we go. Okay, it's Ginger shot a clock. This is, this is gonna be a strong one, I just feel it. Cheers. That feels great. <laughs> I have been craving these from Dr. Smood. It's the protein avocado toast. It has hummus, avocado, and cucumber, and like lemon, and it's a great bite. Shooting is done, now we're off to record the podcast. We're back. I just went down to my doorman because I was bringing down a couple pick uh, pickle like deliveries slash pickups, or delivery pickups, because I was like renting things for people. Anyways, I like was walking away and he goes, you always smell so good. I'm like, that's the thing about perfume. Like I love perfume, I love spraying it, but then after a few minutes, I don't smell it anymore. And I just think, I just forget. And then people always tell me I smell good and it's so exciting, but I'm like, I wish I could smell it too, you know? Like you smell it when you spray it on and then you don't smell it anymore. I just changed it to some pajama pants. I'm in all skims right now. So skims top, skims pants. The episode today, if you, <laughs> I think the day this video is coming out is the day that this podcast, this podcast episode we recorded today was so vulnerable. I can't, like, I can't believe I'm putting stuff like that on the internet, but I think you guys will really enjoy it. So if you don't listen to Gals on the Go, you really should today because it's a really good, funny, vulnerable girl talk episode. <laughs> I decided to attempt to film a pack with me TikTok reel and this has helped so much. I got this off TikTok shop. It's like a clip onto your tripod and it's a mirror so I could see my phone, what was on it while I was filming to make sure it was in the frame. And yeah, I don't know how this is going. Who knows? I am so not good at this, but I already had all my stuff laid out and I had to pack and I thought it'd be a fun little challenge. So go follow me on TikTok at Danielle underscore Carolyn. I'm watching Inventing Anna. And this is the late night special. <laughs> it's 11.30. I wanted to go to bed earlier, but I just, when you live alone, no one's like, okay, I'm gonna go to bed, you know? It's just like, I could just go to bed whenever I want. And sometimes that bites me in the butt. Pour me a little glass of water from my water carafe. Cheers. 
red lights on, as we already know. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, it's Thursday and we have a day full of vacation prep and calls and I packed last night, so that's good. You know, you always gotta do those final touches, but we have a fun little day. So I'm gonna start off the day by going to Equinox and I'm gonna do the treadmill and hopefully the steam room. I haven't done the steam room in so long and that just sounds really nice on this cold day. I feel like I need some like steam and humidity up in me. So, um, I'm actually, it's 24 degrees today, so I'm wearing these thermal, like, fleece-lined leggings, but they're so cute. My aunt actually sent me the length from Amazon, because I have some that they're, like, a soft material, but these look like athletic material, which I like. And then I have this 437 sports bra, and I'm going to put this Lululemon long sleeve on top as well. And then a sweatshirt and then a jacket because it is cold. I don't want to be cold on my walk to the gym, but we're just going to do like a little 12, 3, 30 situation. Well, not even 12. I usually do like six. And that's on that. 30 minutes, respond to emails on the tread. A little steam for like 10, 15 minutes, then come back. And I'm actually getting a lymphatic massage on my face and my body, which I'm really excited about. I haven't done one in so long. And... Yeah, they like come to your apartment and everything, so that'll be cool. Gonna have some toast before I go. What is y'all's pre-workout like snack? For me, it's just always been toast. I'm really into solo bread right now. Cause I know they say you're supposed to, it's good to have like a carb before you work out and then a protein after. So like, I guess a granola bar, but I'm a breakfast girl. Like, I need more than just a granola bar in the morning, typically. So, comment down below what your, like, pre-workout is. Maybe I could do, like, an oatmeal situation. But, like, come on. Does that not look incredible? Today is one of those days where I don't really care what the layer looks like. We're just gonna layer. Nice. Oh. A little tight in the sleeves of the sweater, but it's okay. The goal is 30 minutes on the tread, 10 minutes in the steam room. Got my earmuffs. Let's do this thing. Lymphatic drainage massage was absolutely unreal. You could literally hear my stomach gurgling while she was doing my stomach. It's so cool. Um, I'm drinking my little decaf cafe. I just got off of a Zoom with someone that's helping me with creative for a series that I'm starting. Very exciting stuff. And i um, always feeling very motivated after that. I got this hat from the brand The Stoop Club. How cute! They have a ton, they have, I think they have three different streets. So they have Bleecker Street, they're all streets in New York, Grove Street and Hudson Street. And they also sent a Bleecker Street hat for Ryan, which I thought was really sweet. He'll love it. Um, so I'm wearing this, I'm wearing my Peyton Sarton merch. Lucky, this is actually my favorite sweat set to wear when I get a spray tan, cause I'm getting a spray tan today. And then we're also getting a haircut today. It's a big prep day. And I was just reflecting and I'm so like, I understand my privilege of, you know, I'm going on vacation tomorrow and I'm able to spend a weekday where I'm prepping for vacation. And I really want you guys to know that this is not normal and I am beyond grateful. And January in general is just a little bit slower for me. So I'm, I've been doing a lot more like treatments and appointments and just kind of trying things out. I also think it's fun content for you guys to see. Um, but I am very aware that this week, like this lifestyle isn't always the case for everybody. Um, and I am beyond thankful for it. And a lot of it 
all of it is because of you guys. So thank you guys so much for constantly supporting. And I am always so happy to be here and making videos for you guys. So yeah, today is a little bit of a prep day, waiting, I'm getting a spray tan here in a little bit. And then I have another call with my financial advisor because I like to do that and check in with her and make sure I'm budgeting right and everything. And then I have a haircut at six o'clock, a little late night haircut with my girl Mads. Um, and then Ryan's gonna come over tonight. We're gonna hang because I am going on a girl's trip. He's not coming. He's so busy with work right now. Like, I'm crazy busy. So he's like, actually, it'll be good that you go. I can just chill and work. I'm like, oh my gosh. So yeah, that's what's up. Just made my favorite smoothie, my at-home OPP smoothie. Um, oh wait, how did I think I was gonna pour this? Is this a recipe for disaster? Yes, yep, that is a recipe for disaster. Like, am I okay? I just don't think so. Um, so excited. One of my friends just told us that she's getting married this year. We thought she was getting married next year. Is it psycho to use the funnel? Um, this is probably so extra to be doing this, but we're in it now. Um, anyways, so she's having her bachelorette this fall or like end of summer. And we're like, this is my first bachelorette party I've ever been on. So like, you know, her brain of honor is texting us like, okay guys, we're planning it out. Like, is everyone available this day? And like, she's not in the chat. I'm like experiencing all of this culture. Um, I'm about to get a spray tan. Nora's about to be here from Bessa Bella Bronze. This is the funniest shit that I'm doing this right now. It's like this old Air One bottle that I, I was like, if I'm spending so much money on an Air One juice, like I'm cleaning this glass bottle and I'm bringing it back to New York. I'm so happy I did because I had gotten Ryan a juice too, so I cleaned both of them. And uh, you know what? My smoothie's gonna taste extra good in this. I just know it. So yeah, now I have a bachelorette to look forward to. I won't say where because it's like her wedding, but it's gonna be in a beach town that I've never been to before, which I'm really excited about. Oh, we are overloaded. All right. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, we cleaned up my little mess here, but Gosh, that is just so good. Nora's here. Let me show them your sweatshirt. You look so cute. Oh, yeah. Bella Bronze. What does that say? Oh, this is my spray tan sweatshirt. Obsessed. <laughs> we're about to get glowy for Mexico and we're also catching up. So, love it. Spray tan is developing. <laughs> um, I just got off the phone with my financial advisor. I love her so much. She is the best. And it's really nice because she's almost like a therapist. She's like one of the only people that like sees all of your know, financials and stuff. And we just talked about my goals and just making sure I'm on the right track of like my investments and savings and budgeting and like my rent when I, if and when I move this fall, like where, what I can spend, you know, just stuff like that. Just kind of a, a goals call. Um, I'm very thankful to work with her. Um, but yeah, just put on this hat cause my hair is just a little bit messy. Um, we're gonna go to Rouen Salon. Gonna get my hair cut, no color, just hair cut. And yeah, I wanna do some more layers. I want some volume. I want like some shorter pieces in the front. I'm not really sure, I'm gonna talk to Mad. Camera just died, <laughs> but um, this is the fit. I'm gonna put on a jacket cause it's so cold out and we're gonna go get a haircut. Let's do it. obsessed with my hair she absolutely crushed it i hope i can style it like this it's so good i'm so happy i love madison just ordered ryan and i some parm one of our favorite uber eats to order finishing up packing and we're gonna hopefully watch a movie or we'll probably just watch a ton of trailers or maybe we'll watch a show there's some shows I want to start, so maybe we'll do that. I don't know, but I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will see you guys very soon for my next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.